the in intros. Okay, so folks, we are back. We're going to be opening some more Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Yeah. Well, can I walk us through it? Yeah, so this is going to be our new standard set, guys. It drops tomorrow. We're going to... Uh, I would definitely come come over to Awesome Cards. They're going to have the best prices in the area. It is... Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, it, it <laughs> really is. It's... They're going to have, and it's going to be a desirable set. It's everyone, like I said in the last video, everyone got a little, I think everyone got a little spoiled with Modern Horizons 2 because it was such a value set. Um, this one is very powerful, though. It's surprising how many cool cards are in this set. So we're going to be looking for some of the chase cards. I'm going to kind of fly a little bit through this video just because we're going to have another video of a lot more cards in, the, <laughs> in there. So this one's just a draft. We're doing our first draft booster. So I'll try to get some, so you guys can see it. I got to. I'm always all over the place in the camera because my hand moves around so much. So like I, we didn't see a single Mordica Canaan's polymorph. Oh, nice. We didn't see a single one in that last box in the last two boxes. So this will have a lot more bulk, but it's always good to have bulk for at least for a little while. So let's see, Werewolf Pack Leader is our first rare. The lands look amazing in this set they look absolutely oh cool. the fairy dragon the fair there's so many dragons in this set oh, there's yeah. dragon yeah. turtles there's dragon warriors so is the fairy dragon an actual dragon in in it, this set it counts as a dragon it does as long as it says because it, it does say dragon in there so it counts yeah. as a modifier for dragons yeah, interesting which is really cool it may have changed that so in, in dnd you have a pseudo dragon which is actually not a dragon so i didn't know what was there oh okay like because you could use it for like any of your big dragon oh, really? dragon's fire as long as it's this one's cast two as an additional cost, you may reveal a dragon. And instead of dealing the three damage to target creature or planeswalker, you deal the damage of the dragon. So if you've got one of the big legendary ones, you just yeah, you deal a lot of damage. That's fantastic. Great for getting rid of planeswalkers. Yeah. A lot of uncommon legendaries in this as well. And nice. all the different, you know, we've got Azorius here, Demir there, and this red dragons. Is a, a red, there's a color... Legend, excuse me, legendary dragon for every color, and then a regular dragon for every color, and then more on top of that. So we got Forsworn Paladin is our nice. rare. I love the new dungeon mechanic. I yes. think I think that is such a wonderful joining of the two fandoms. Yeah. Those of you who are listening, in case you can't tell. Um, I don't know much about magic, <laughs> but I do know quite a bit about Dungeons and Dragons. And I know quite a bit about magic and not very much about Dungeons and Dragons. I, yeah. I know a little bit about Dungeons and Dragons. Like, you know, some of the iconic stuff like Beholders. Yeah. Eyes yeah. of the Beholders are always cool. That's such a great name for it. Yeah. Card. It's, I mean, it's, we're, we're going to have a lot of fun. And there's a lot of things, rolling dice, you know, the adventure cards, you're ambushed on the road. So you choose one, make yeah. a, make a retreat or stand and fight. I love Which, that. It's a, such a cool way well, of doing it. It really harkens back to those choose your old adventures yeah. that get any kind of. Which I love. And then they added the modules to make it even. I know. I have to say, I have like, I, I'm not exactly sure about the rarities and stuff, but I love the cards that have the old module art. Yeah. I just think that is they did a so classic. They did a great job with a lot of these. They, I, I think they look amazing. And they made it looks like every uh, non basic land is going to have a module. That's I've come across five or six of them so far. And I mean, this is the Evolving Wilds one, that's the common one, but yeah. there's it looks like there's one for every single that's so yeah. fantastic. And then they also have a class for every class yeah, in DD. Yeah. They have a class, I love it. Burning Hands, all the iconic spells. So we've got one of the uh. Mind Flayers. <laughs> That's the legendary one. Oh man. Grazlax or Grazlax. I'm like that's that's cool. Yeah, so there's there's three different dungeons yep. you can choose to go through. And again, like two of annihilation, that's like the OG you want to see how many characters it takes. <laughs> you make it through the dungeon, they all die. And that's um, that's pretty much what this one is. If you yeah. go through the obli or obliette, you you have to discard a card, sacrifice an artifact a creature and a land just to make it through that part of the dungeon but you do get the final thing is you get the cradle of death god you create uh atropol oh so you yeah. get to create atropol and he's a, just a token creature yeah so we got yeah dragon's fires is it's gonna be fun i i definitely want to um get some standard going here at the shop yeah. we're gonna try to get some uh paper standard again if anyone's interested it'd be awesome to get a good group over here Oh, yeah, we didn't see this one last game. Adult Gold Dragon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. There's so so many rare oh, dragons. Yeah. 
They so do. they have regular dragons and they also have adult versions. So they have like they, uh, so they've got they've got the legendary ones. So okay. they've got like icing death. Okay. Um, there's a few I can't remember. Uh, old old speed. Nabo. Yeah, boots oh, of man, speed. What a classic! What a classic! <laughs> I think so. I think a few of the guys that designed these cards have played D and D for quite oh, a long for time. Sure. Veteran Dungeoneer, you come to a river. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. Dueling Rapier. I mean, they, they've got well, a lot of cool well, stuff. Well, you know, like, it. Rapiers are the only, or some of the only viable dual wielding weapons in D&D. Like, the fact that they do something <laughs> like that, that's just... That is actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to use Grim Wanderer. Cast it, you can cast it for, uh... You can cast it only if a creature died, but it only costs two, oh, okay. and it's flash. So you can call yeah. it, if you they kill one of your creatures, Grim Wander out is a five three for two, which is great. Wow, yeah. And because you, you're working on a goblin deck, right? I've got a goblin yeah. deck, and there's some fun stuff in this for goblins. A lot of the bugbears are some really cool oh, stuff. Sure, sure. Guardian of Faith is our rare mountain, and then another Tomb of Annihilation. Tomb of the, uh, dungeon of the Mad Mage is the longest dungeon. Oh, yeah. well, that's also, I think the module itself had something like 30 plus floors. Oh, geez. Having their own challenges that you have to make way through. <laughs> so then it makes sense that this one yep. is so long. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's one of the uh, Goblin Javelin. Javelin I love here. the old school art. Oh, yeah, they did a great oh, job man. with them. They have a lot of uncommons and commons. Yep. And a, a good group of the rares are in that as well. That's so great. Barbarian class. That's that's actually a lot of fun. This one's gonna go into my standard deck. Oh, it is. Class. Yep. Nice. Just because it lets me roll an extra die. I was so. gonna say because it's got. Uh, I was reading that it, it has the advantage mechanic in it. Like mm -hmm. it's amazing that. So I think at least I was really worried. Like you know, Dungeons and Dragons has some really unique mechanics. How are they going to bring those two things together mm -hmm. in a card game? And I think they did a good job. I think they did a fantastic job. They have a lot of the advantage rolls. They have the a lot of venturing, so you can build a. Full, I'm, I've I've kind of been playing around with building a deck just venturing, yep. and all I do is venture <laughs> over and over and over. You roll the venture yeah. more, and it's it's a lot. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And and advantage is, is I believe fairly unique to fifth edition. So yeah. really locking in that that fifth edition. I think it'll bring, it, it'll be good to have a lot of crossover too yeah, because it'll exactly. get more people involved in both games. Exactly. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna pick up some magic just, <laughs> just to <laughs> play a little bit. Parts, yeah. It is a lot of, it is a lot of fun. This I think is gonna be a fun I hope they support it a little bit more too. Yeah. yeah. Mordecanian, this is our our first Ooh, planeswalker of the pack. Man. That's actually really cool. Oh, Mordecanian would be a planeswalker. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Celestial Unicorn, that is one bright that is one bright foil card. That is the, probably the brightest foil I've ever seen. Oh, you know what? Let me bring uh, let me bring some rares down here. So right in the middle of the screen, so we can at least see them a little bit better. So used to opening all by myself, <laughs> and opening really, really fast. Boots of speed, potion of healing, secret door. Nice. Yeah, oh, a lot secret, of. They have a purpose, secret door. Yeah, then, is... and it's a venture card, so it's a wall. And then you can venture if you pay uh, five. Oh. And it's only one cost. Not bad. A little expensive to venture, but yeah. there's a lot of venture mechanics. Yeah. A lot of treasure tokens. Plus two mace. <laughs> Jaded Cell Sword. Yeah, we got another one of those. Oh, That's cool. Man. Yeah, they've got a lot of the commons have. Iron Golem has a uh, showcase. Hulking Bugbear has a showcase. Green Dragon has one, too. Wow, wow. Hey, there we go. Minsk. Hey, wow. Beloved Ranger, and you do, there is a Boo token. You oh, can, yes, I've seen you that. You can yeah. create Boo. Oh, wow. So cool that they did this. I, I love it, too. Yep. I'm, I'm actually kind of happy. I didn't know there was a showcase version of him. That's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, there's a lot of treasures in this, because there's a treasure vault, venture into the dungeon. There's just a straight venture yeah. land. So we got Spike Pit Track. <laughs> So there's a lot it, they did, really did a good job yeah. kind of bringing it across i had a character who uh died from like magical tetanus on steroids from a uh, <laughs> from, pit trap from a pit trap <laughs> <laughs> see i like i like the fact that if anyone plays magic and D, &D they, they see some of these oh, yeah. these yeah. cards and go i died this way yeah, exactly. i remember this adventure where i died this way we got a claire class oh man and then hand of a hand of Vecna. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a couple pieces of Vecna. Artifact. Yeah. 
And it is a legendary in this, so yeah. it makes a little bit of sense. Well, that... and in D&D, you have a rarity that is artifact. So the fact that there's even that, and the hand of Vecna is an artifact. Rarity. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. so it's I a. Love, I love that. Because I think there's hand and eye is yeah. what I've seen so yeah. far. That's those are the two, and yeah. you can actually use both of them as a character, and there's some kind of like. That's cool. Fact, yeah, because yeah, this was at the beginning of combat. On your turn, equipped a creature or a creature you control named uh, Vecna gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your hand. And then you could equip oh. it. You pay one life for each card in your hand, yeah. or you can just pay two life, or you just pay two mana. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of cool that they yeah, have. Really cool. And the pun with the you know cards you have in hand. Yeah. Uh, hey. Very. Uh, so this pixie guide is going into my. Uh, standard deck because oh, it's, nice. it's a granted advantage card. Okay, and then yeah. it works with Delina Wild Mage that cakes, creates copies. So as long as you're over 15 on a D20, you just you re-roll, wow. and you can just keep doing it. And every time you gain another advantage, so you just get more <laughs> and more. If it keeps going, you can keep going. Wow. The odds of you keep or the keep going are good. So Lareth, oh that's an Ooh, awesome module version. Look at that. Look at that, folks. That looks awesome. Layer of the Hydra looks really cool as a module. I was having trouble focusing. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Look how cool that looks. It's just amazing. I mean, I, I love that. I love the modules. That's actually my first uh that's my first rare module I've pulled. Oh nice. Steadfast. The lands in this, just the basic lands look yeah. awesome. In this. They really do. They did a great job with it, and they put lore behind every single card. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm glad that they they put the effort into this yeah. set, and I, I think they did a good job for everyone to kind of try to get find the best the of both. Lair. Yeah, you find, <laughs> you find the villain's lair. Yeah, foil their scheme or learn their secrets. <laughs> Leather armor, hobgoblin captain. Oh, wow. It's this drop. Yeah, there's there's so much cool. I mean, Ranger's Hawk. Yeah, yeah. Priest of Ancient Lore. Nice. Monk of the Open Hand. Yep. There's another Barbarian's class. There you go. Wandering Troubadour. <laughs> there's a lot of bards in this set too, which is kind of neat. Yeah. And they're all they all they do is boost everyone else. Yeah. Well, that's that's the bard in D and D. And then we got Sorcerer's class, which is a great little, great way to um, boost your mana abilities while you can get more. It's got a good mana ramp. For playing instants and sorcerers, okay, nice. which is really cool. Yeah. And then, yeah, because in D&D, the sorcerer has a meta magic, which lets them do more than unique things. Magic as opposed to like a wizard or a cleric or which is cool. Life. Yeah. Because then there is there. I would say there's a wizard, cleric, and uh, warlock class too. Yeah. Orc robber. Oh, well, I was way off there. No worries. Shortcut Seeker. There's Celestia Unicorn. Yeah, so he's Cleric class. Yep. Which is actually a really good one. Yeah. Again, let's gain extra life. I was going to say, is it healing focus? Yep. Gain extra life, put plus one, plus one counters on target creature you control whenever you gain life. I'll Ooh, be using that in wow. one. Of, I'll be using that in one of my uh, commander decks. Yeah. Dragon Turtle. Oh, no way. There, there's our dragon. There's our dragon turtle. We finally got one. That's awesome. That's a cool one. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, you need an owl bear. Oh yeah, I mean, it's hard to get much more classic than than owl bear. Yeah, exactly. And there's a few of them that you have to behold. There's bug bears, mimics, and there are mimics in this. There's there's one mimic in here. Or either more, or just masquerading as other cards. I, that, you know, that would be that would be funny if they had a flip card that was a mimic. Oh, it looks man. like another card, and then you can flip it to be a mimic. Pixie guide. That's oh, nice. showcase pixie guide looks great. Neverwinter dryad. Yeah, wow, we got a lot of showcase in this one. Wow. Clattering skeletons. It's all for my benefit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fresh uh, Death's Whisper, which is really cool. Loathsome Troll. There's another one. Yeah, nice. wow, there's a lot. And we got a, we got the, uh, oh, man. we got the, uh, the module. Yeah. Hive of the Eyed Tyrant. I love that the old beholders look like dodgeballs with tentacles. Like, <laughs> they really do. Like, they just look like a really unhappy dodgeball. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they look so. <laughs> well, I've never, now I can't look at them they a different way. It, right? right? The dodgeball with tentacles. <laughs> Angry tentacles that'll melt you if you get too close. Oh, man. I love it. That's It's so awesome. <laughs> exactly. And it's a, it's a pretty cool. 
pretty pretty cool mechanic that it has. Yeah, yeah and until end of turn, Hive, uh, Hive, Hive of the Eye Tyrant becomes a 3-3 Black Beholder creature with menace, yeah. and whenever this creature attacks, exile target creature from defending player's graveyard, which is kind of cool, and it's still a land. Wow. It's, it is kind of cool. Yeah. So, Zelda's Torch. Gotta have a torch. You come, you come to the Knoll Camp. <laughs> Intimidate them or fend them off. Oh, man. And this is one of like the D20s, like Herald of Hadar. Oh, wow. So it, it has an ability, like one to nine, each opponent loses two life. Oh. 10 to 19, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. And then 20, a natural 20 gives you, each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life, and then you create two treasure tokens, which is awesome. That's fantastic. Hey, there's a mimic. Oh, there we go. The, uh, yep, yep, got the classic chest. Yeah, just and they and they do make a um, they do make a showcase version of that as well, oh, and it looks really cool. Owl bear showcase. Oh goodness, that takes me back. <laughs> Hulking bugbear, Trinceria. Oh, there's a our mythic. We got a mythic on this one. Book oh, of vile wow. dark. Book of the vile darkness. Oh, that's a that's a great. Uh, yeah, once uh, once we get that artifact rarity in uh, the legendary in the, artifacts. Yeah, yep. yeah, and they have another one too. They have. Uh, oh, is it like a light version, like a good? They have uh, Book of Exalted Deeds. Exalted Deeds. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it's uh, for everyone who doesn't know, it's already banned. Oh. It's already <laughs> been banned. That was quick. Uh, and it had there's a combo with it where you can make it so you cannot lose the game. So you turn one of the one of the lands from uh, because it, it gives you a, if as long as you control an angel, yeah, you get a experience token on it, and then you can't lose the game as long as that experience token is on that angel. Well, the other land is a shapeshifter, so it's every creature type. But then at the end of the turn, it turns oh, back into a yeah. land. So at the end of the turn, it's back to a land. And they can't. And they can't kill it with creature removal yeah. because it's no longer a creature. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. So it's it's a little it's a little rough, and then they can't lose the game. Yeah. Circle of unexpected windfall. Oh, of course. Yep. Of course. Dwarven hold champion, shocking grass. Oh, what a great spell. So we get some fang blades, yeah. snake rogues. Yeah. Spoils of the hunt, zombie ogre. Owl Bear. There's Gretchen Titch Willow. Nice. nice. A lot of half yeah, halflings, tieflings. Death Priest of Miracle. Nice. Blink Dog. Yeah, Blink Dogs. Yeah, the Blink Dogs are cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oswald Fiddlebender. <laughs> A lot of, it seems like not being as familiar with D and D, yeah. it seems like there's a lot of hey, there's Boo. Yeah, I was gonna say there he is. Boo appeared. <laughs> a trample haste one one, yeah, but they uh, trample. It, yeah, trample haste. Wow. So and it, it the uh, when you make it, you can pump it up right away. That's and hilarious. and do a lot of damage. It does seem like there's a lot of really cool mechanics for D and D lovers too. Yeah, Just and yeah. a lot of good minimus containment. Oh, that's a great spell too. Baleful Beholder, Wild Shape. The Reaper's Talisman's awesome in uh, constructive or in draft play. Okay. Very, very hard to stop. Whenever a, a, a equipped creature attacks alone, defending player loses two life and you gain two life. Oh, and that's no. Death Touch, so no one wants to block it. Yeah. yeah and it's yeah. just an equipment, so it won't die. You find wow. some prisoners, <laughs> break their chains, interrogate them. I was going to say, you run into a lot of uh, moral dilemmas whenever you run across prisoners in a dungeon. Right. Gelatinous cube. Nice. Yep. There is. Nice. There's. They, they've got. That's engulf is kind of a cool mechanic in this set too. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. They. I so think they had yeah, a dungeon go in a different pot. Oh yeah, that's my bad. Oh. They're they're all just tokens. Oh, okay. but they um. They, it's cool that they put the dope the. the I've got so many dungeons now because they, <laughs> they they give you about ten dungeons. So just in case you lose a few, you find the villains kick in the door. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Gonna have something for the barbarians oh, in the group. Absolutely. absolutely. Scaled herbalist. Ranger Hawk, clever conqueror. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Okay, yeah. Power word. Power, Power kill. word kill. Oh, man. Is that any good in the game? This one, I mean, destroy target non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon creature, which if it's human or sure. anything normal, tiefling, it, it's gonna be pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think it will be a good kill spell because depending on what you run. Yeah. You see a pair of goblins. <laughs> Charge them or befriend them. <laughs> Prosperous innkeeper. Oh, we got another uh, planeswalker, Lol. Oh man. The Spider Queen. Yeah, she's she's actually a really cool one. You draw a card and you lose one life, but you put loyalty counters every time a uh, creature you control dies. 
Oh, sure. So it's good if you have a sack outlet, you can just keep yeah, sacking yeah. things out because her emblem is whenever an opponent is dealt combat damage by one or more creatures you control, if that player lost less than eight life this turn, they lose equal to the difference. Oh, yeah. So wow. you're gonna you're gonna deal eight damage every turn just as soon as you yeah. get a whole bunch of little weenies out. This is uh, this I do enjoy this set. I I'm, I'm hoping everyone else enjoys yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah, I'm certainly enjoying it. Shocking Grass, Plundering Barbarian, <laughs> Compelled Duel. Oh, that's a great spell. Too. Yeah, that's like, Stu said the same thing. He's like, that's yeah, a great yeah. one. Half Elf Monk, Never Winter Dryad, mm. Wandering Troubadour, Portable Hole. Or, oh my goodness! Yeah, there's, and there's Bag of Holding. So is there a combo that you can do with those that's like broken like it is in Dungeons and Dragons or, or not so much? You know, I haven't, it, I gotta look at Portable Hole a little bit much because I'm sure there's some kind of yeah. gross combo. Because like one of the stereotypical broken mechanics is if you use a Portable Hole with um, a bag of holding or any other like extra dimensional <laughs> space, it like creates a black hole and implodes on itself and it's like an insta kill for any boss encounter it puts them to a random plane of existence we actually had someone do it and uh caught Stu off guard in our campaign Stu was like we need to take a 20 minute break i was not expecting that. i was expecting this yeah. boss battle to last a lot longer yeah that's fantastic oh here's one of the big ones that i think people are gonna be chasing too frog very frog hemoth very interesting so yeah. why are they chasing it uh, so it's a trample haste whenever it deals combat damage to a player exile up to that many target cards from their graveyard Ooh. Put a plus one plus one counter on frog human for each creature and you gain life for each non-creature wow. And he starts as a four four so you could theoretically do some gross I'm things And then you can you could if you could get him out faster than the five Yeah He, he could be kind of gross it I've had a few I haven't Truly explored how he's going to be gross, but I think he's going to be gross That's right. Especially if all the modern players are already asking for him <laughs> Everyone keeps asking for frog hemoth already I just need a couple more Delinas With a wild mage and then I'm then my oh, yeah, my yeah. standard deck is done Spare, Spare yeah. dagger I love that. <laughs> Sepulchre ghoul Find the path another great spell. Yep. Swarming goblins, deadly dispute. <laughs> you hear something on watch. Oh no! Way. Rouse the party or set off the traps. Oh, you always rouse the party, folks. <laughs> always rouse the party. <laughs> you find, hey, we found some more prisoners, guys. So Stu asked this, and I don't think there is long rest. Yeah. But I don't think there's a short rest. There isn't a short rest. I, don't, I haven't seen a short rest yeah. yet, so there might be. But long rest is. I mean, it's just a cool card. There's a t the tiefling's got a candle going out on it or yeah. candle on his foot even in even in dnd &D, usually short rests are pretty neat only a couple characters can benefit from them and usually everyone benefits from a long rest so okay I, I would not be surprised if they cut short rest that meant that might be true then silver raven faraday's fireball sylvan shepherd good great i was gonna say like what amazing artwork i know they they did some good they did a great shot you cut the river that almost reminded me of like oregon trail but <laughs> right you come to a river and this and i was gonna say the, the third option is dysentery <laughs> air cult elemental oh. you see a pair of goblins that's that'll go that might go in my goblin deck yeah. keen eared century laurel war oh, that's a nice one loyal warhound i haven't come across that oh that's cool. that's cool so it's a good it's a good land fixer for you yeah they've got more than you you get some and then drizzit Oh, wow. yeah, that's that was one of the first cards spoiled and I got we get a nice foil version of it That's, that's awesome. Which is the battlefield you create. It's yeah. his uh, His cat. Yeah, 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 that's kind of cool. I Figured that would actually be a, uh, a Mythic not a rare, but yeah, yeah, yeah Paladin shield plummet bar the gate Shambling gas I like the shambling gas Evolving Wild, the, the Evolving Wilds still look better as the yeah, Portable Hole. Yeah. This look definitely Goblin Morningstar. That's going to be fun for... Yeah, yeah. It'll be a lot of fun. Deck. Yep, for my Goblin deck. Sudden Insight. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a cool one. That's hey. a where you like roll for it and try and get the DM to give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. I got, the, you I got the Lena Wild Mage. Um, He's a lot of fun. Focus, but yeah, you probably can't read it. But yeah, it's whenever she attacks, choose a target creature you control, then roll a d20. One to 14, create a tapped and attacking token 
that is a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary. And then you en exile that creature at the end of combat, 15 to 20, create one of those tokens and roll again. If you use it with Pixie Guide and Barbarian, there you, you roll extra dice every time. Oh man. I might need to invest in some extra D20s. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case it rolls, I've got about and 40. And we have plenty of those here at Awesome CCG. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There, and there is plenty of them. I, every time I'm here, I end up buying more dice. You can never have enough dice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, got to become a dice goblin for a goblin deck, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The problem is, is I, I have about 40 or 50 D20s right now. <laughs> and if that rolls, they change the rules, though, because it says choose and, and it says then roll a D20. Okay. It says you have to do it. Yeah. They change the rules now. It's a May. Okay. Nice. Especially, especially with this card, it's now a May because okay. they know that this combo won't work without the May. Because if yeah. it goes infinite, you lose the game. Yeah. You cannot go infinite. Yeah. It's, it's not allowed. You're ambushed on the road. Make a retreat or stand and fight. Soul you? Knife Spy. Oh man. Yeah. So that's actually, um, that's from. I can't remember if that's actually even a release class. That was one of their game testing um, hmm. classes that they were trying to work out. I don't know if they've ever like fully made because that's the. Um, oh, that's the Psionic class. So I don't think they've actually really ironed that out for for fifth edition yet. But that is that's really maybe cool. that's a spoiler for what's to come. For yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be kind of cool. Been asking for a Psionics for a while. I, and that would be cool. Maybe the, I'm wondering if the, some of the stuff that isn't released in 5e, maybe yeah. some of this will be seen yeah, yeah. in 5e after the fact. They play tested it a bunch, and from what I've seen online, people aren't super pleased with with how psionics are working in fifth edition. Oh, uh, so they have to a little more tweaking. Yeah, yeah. Improvised weaponry. <laughs> That's a feat. A horde robber. Another compelled duel. The boulette. Oh, we got a, we got a full art of the green dragon. Oh man, it looks awesome. Yeah, wow. poison breath. That looks really good. They did a great job with the full arts. I love the full arts in this. Loathsome troll, rust monster. Rust oh. monster. Yeah, is that, is that as brutal as it is in uh, in D and D? If you're using an artifact deck, it can be. Yeah, oh. first strike, uh, sacrifice an artifact. Rust monster gets plus two, plus zero. Oh man. But it's, I don't think it's going to be as, as brutal as yeah, it is in D&D. &D. Yeah. Well, it's one of those things where, it, like, whenever you encounter one in D&D, in &D, it's, it's always, like, you try and keep the heavily armed people away from it. It's just completely ruined it. <laughs> so a lot of rangers go oh, after yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, All your ranged characters. Yeah. That's cool. See, that's it, that's always, it's cool to learn some of that stuff, too. Yeah. Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Oh, nice. We got a Dragon Knight. So there's a couple Dragon Knights in this. So that counts as a Dragon, too? It counts as a Dragon, wow. yeah. And then there's a lot of, if there's any synergy with Knights. Yeah. You've got both. Both. Which is that, it, it is a cool card. Double they, dipping. Exactly. I do have an EDH deck that is a Knight deck, and that might go with it. Just to see if I can venture a little bit while I'm doing it. Sure. Absolutely. It's that whenever he attacks or he vent or he enters the battlefield. Arcane investigator, you come to a no camp. Ranger's longbow. Uh, you're amb I love the little adventure cards. You're I ambushed know. on the road. Oh wow. Planner. What Undar. a great dwarf yeah. artwork. I always say they did a good job with a lot of these. Oh, there's yep. Temple of the We haven't seen the Dragon Queen oh, in this wow. box yet. They made a, uh, they do have a module version of this as well. Oh, dang. But we got a Tarrasque. Hey, there we go. That's a good card. That yeah, I think will be a lot of fun. That's a, it's a brutal card in this game too. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, man. When it, I, it, I don't it, see how it would be. Like, it has Ward 10, where it, Ward 10 is anything that they target with this. They have to pay whatever the Ward cost is if they don't want it countered. And it's Ward 10, as long as it was yeah. cast, it's Ward 10 and it has haste. Ooh. So it can attack right away, and then when it attacks, it fights target creature, defending player controls as well. And it's a 10-10. Oh, so boy, it yeah. could do a lot of damage real quick. It costs a lot. It costs nine, but oh, we got a foil rare dungeon descent. <laughs> nice. Which that's another, you know, venture in the dungeon card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great axe. Right. Leather armor. A lot of ranger. I mean, yeah, they, they did yeah. a good job. Dial Wolf, uh, Prowler, Charm, Sleep. Yeah, there's another Rust Monster. Oh. That's the actual artwork. That's the regular artwork. Lurking Roper. That's such a, like, I love that monster. Just It's it's a really cool concept. I just love that it looks 
like a stalagmite mm -hmm. that just something something went wrong yeah right exactly <laughs> i i like it's kind of it, it seems like a kind of like a mimic to me yeah like yeah. A, a, a sort of mim mimic yeah. it's like a cave mimic <laughs> i love i the yeah, cave mimic well, there's one of the other legendaries, Orcus, the Prince of Undeath. Oh, wow, yeah. Orcus, good old Orcus. I would say, it, it seems like a critical role. Oh, uh, critical hit, that's... Or critical hit, yeah. I love that they have a card for that. Yeah, and so it's when you roll a nat 20, return it to... Or whenever you roll a nat 20, you return it from the graveyard to your hand, and it gives a creature double strike. So it's a good that's, card, and if you're good at rolling, that's literally like a critical hit in in D and D. If you, get, if you you know roll a natural twenty, uh, which means a twenty without modifiers, um, then it does double damage. That's awesome. See, so you yeah, exactly, yeah, and it is yeah, double yeah. damage. So it is double damage. That is so cool. So I just happen to notice it. One of the cards you could the end of the uh, the dungeon or tomb of annihilation, yeah, you, you get the atropol. So you get the god horror. Wow. And that's it's just a token card, but it's still really cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna like spoil necessarily anything, but we we played um, Tomb of Annihilation with a, a group of friends, and oh man, that's yeah, that that's an appropriate card. <laughs> appropriate to have. To yeah. Have. yeah Death is. Touch four four God Horror. Oh that's yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. And it's a quick dungeon, so you could theoretically get through it really fast. Because, I mean, if you want to sacrifice a creature creature yeah. artifact and land, you can do it. You can make it through the dungeon in, in three wow. or in two moves. You can make it through the dungeon. You see a guard approach. Ha. Distract uh, distract the guard or hide. Swarm. We left out, you know, kill the guard. But I, uh, <laughs> maybe, I play with groups where, like, that's the go to. Something just kill, kill the guard. The whole good old murder hobo. Asmodeus the Archfiend. Oh man. So there's a devil god in here. Binding contract. If you would draw a card, if you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. And then you pay three to draw seven cards, which is kind of cool to refresh your hand. That is really cool. Love the artwork on that too. Yeah, they did a good job on the artwork on that. Yeah, yeah. Check for traps. <laughs> check for traps. You gotta check for traps. That's amazing. Relax. I, I love the, the flavor artist. Relax. I'm a professional. Oh yeah, that is, that is perfect. <laughs> Famous last perfect. words. Oh yeah, yeah. If you don't check for traps, that's when you get into that pitfall. I love the artwork for this for the eyes of yeah, Beholder. Just yeah. disintegrating him. Absolutely. Actually makes him look scary and not a yeah. not a dodgeball with right. tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very scary when you yeah, think about it. I, I do like the updated artwork for the Beholders. I think they look a little more menacing. Yes. Contact another plane. Nice. More mimics. You can always use a mimic. Nice. Sudden insight. Divine smite. Oh, there we go. Tiger tribe hunter. And then the snake rogue rare. Yeah, yeah. This one's all right. They're they're all right. They're not great. Yeah. But they're not too bad. Isn't I think they'll be it's pretty true to Dungeons and Dragons as well. Yeah. I mean, it'll be. It'll be, I think they'll see a little bit of play in draft, not much play after that. Okay. Hoarding Ogre. Planar Ally. See more venture stuff. Venture, yeah, venture. Yeah. A lot of venturing. Underdark Basilisk. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, and that's the showcase version looks really cool. Yeah. Jaded Cell Sword. They did a really good job picking up on, on like archetypes that people use in their games, like the Jaded Cell Sword, yeah. like, obviously. Yeah, I was right. Exactly, it makes sense. Yeah, I think they did a yeah, lot of cool stuff. Game with a with like a jaded cell sword. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Yeah, keen ear and century. Yep. Ray of frost. Ooh. Ray of enfeeblement. And we got another vorpal sword. Oh man, the vorpal sword. Which it looks great. It, it looks great. And this one, I mean, if you could pay the cost for it, the eight. Yeah. Till end of turn, whenever equipped a creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Yeah, so I love, I, and this is one that I had, I had seen previously, I love that it does have a game-ending mechanic, because yeah. um, the, in D&D, &D, the Vorpal Sword, if, it's, if you get a critical hit with it, it decapitates whatever you're fighting. Oh, wow. Automatically. So, so it's, a, it's an instant kill for that, unless, you know, it's like TMI, they got multiple hits. Um, wow, okay. But, but yeah, so I like that it carried over that mechanic. That's cool. Yeah. See, I like, I do, I think that they did a good job on some of these, and they, they made sure to, I do think that some of the designers were definitely D&D &D players. Absolutely. Would make sense. I mean, they're both made by the same company. Yeah, but I think everyone was a little, uh, a little worried that they were going to just be lazy with it. Yeah, and, I agree. 
and I'm glad that I'm glad they weren't. You find a cursed idol, smash it, lift the curse, or steal its eyes. <laughs> Always smash. Oh, steal its eyes? Yeah, you oh, steal that, its eyes. Oh my goodness. So this, I forget exactly what the name of that statue is, but that's the artwork, or that's the statue that's on the artwork for the, like, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Player's Handbook. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It has so you, it's one of the options being able to steal its eyes? Well, yeah, so that's the thing is, it's, it's like, this is such a classic card right there. That's awesome. I'm glad that they did stuff like this because like I mean, you saw it instantly. Oh yeah. Hired hex blades. Some unicorns. Valor singer. Nice. Rally maneuver. Split the party. Oh goodness. No, that's that, that's a negative card, right? Uh, yeah, choose target player, return half the creatures they control to their owner's hand, round it up. Oh. Flavor text, the flavor text just says don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, here's amazing. here's my favorite class of this whole set. It was rogue oh. class. Whenever a creature you deal combat, or whenever a creature you control get, deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of that player's library mm -hmm. face down. You may look at it as long as it's ex exiled. The other player can't. Creatures, if you level it, these are like level up cards. Yeah. So if you level up the second, your creatures you control have menace. So they yeah. can't be blocked by more than, uh, unless it's two or more creatures. Wow. And then the third level is you may play the exiled cards with rogue class and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast those spells. Oh, so you can just goodness. keep, you can play their spells for I was going to say, like, so you can play their cards against them? Yep. Wow. It's going to be kind of gross when you do. I do, so... I have played a great many classes. I think D and D has a lot of flavor, but I always come back to the rogue. Rogue is my favorite class. I just love. See, I always like the Bard. Game. I thought Bard oh, was the cool one. Great. Bard is fantastic. This is one. That's the uh, the token for icing death. Because when so he cool. when he dies, he be, he becomes the equipped creature. Yeah. So he becomes yeah. this equipment when he dies. Wow. Which is really cool. That is so cool. Yeah, icing death is a pretty cool card. Let's see, Thieves Tools. Oh, of course. Goblin Javelin the Javelin the Air. Cyan of Stygia. Bane Death. Inspiring Bard. The inspiring oh, Bard. That's amazing. Underdark Basilisk, of course. Divine Smite. Dungeon Map. <laughs> and that's just a venture. You can just keep venturing. Wow. Wish. Oh, is that a broken card? Uh, you may play a card from your own. Or, so it kind of is weird. It's, it is kind of broken. You may play a card you own from outside the game this turn so you could if you really needed to you could just essentially just that's go into perfect. your side deck yeah. and pull a card that you really need and play it so once again that in D, &D the wish spell it's like a capstone ninth level spell oh, okay and you can use it to cast any other spell without having to pay any cost for it wow okay uh, so it's literally that's the mechanic i love that <laughs> that is so cool that's cool that they that's cool that they brought stuff like that over absolutely and it seems like they did a good job with all the spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potion. I mean, they did a good job with all the artifacts. All the. Oh, I mean, we have artifacts, but they made all the. Yeah. The artifacts from D and D legendary. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh. Manticore. That's a cool showcase. I like that showcase. Yeah, yeah. Noel Hunter. Lots of rays. Bag. Here's bag of holding. Found. Finally found a bag of holding. Nice. Meteor Swarm. All right, we're getting towards the end there. I mean, we've got a we got a couple uh, fun packs at the end here. All right, contact the other plane. We'll fly through these couple ones real quick. Direwolf Prowler, that's a really cool one. Zombie Ogre, Blue Dragon, Hama Pashar. We got another one. Another, oh, nice. Another one. Huh. We got a lot in that. That's surprising. I didn't think we were going to see that many. Yeah. Yeah. I love that the bag of holding and the uh, portable hole. I'm, I'm, I'm now I want to look at it and see if there's a, a I would, way I can I break it. I assume that there'd be some way to, to make those interact with each other. I think there is. Because technically, uh, bag of holding is actually a reprint. They did. They have. Really? They made it in an old set. I think just kind of as a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You hear something on watch. <laughs> Druid, there's a Druid oh, class. Oh, nice. That's the first time we've seen that, right? Yeah, that's the first time we've seen this one. Critical. Nice in this video. <laughs> yeah, at least this video, yeah. Drizzit. Go Erden. Oh. We've gotten one of him. We got a foil yeah. of him earlier. Well, he's extra famous because now he's in a video game. 
Oh, is he? Yeah, the new uh, this came out. Oh wow, that's probably why they. I think that they they made there was a couple yeah. of characters that probably carried over all the boots of speed. Gloom Stalker. Do they have like an invisibility mechanic? Uh, as long as you've completed a dungeon, it's double. It has double strike, which is awesome because nice. it's double strike and ma and magic is uh, your first strike and then your regular combat. Mm -hmm. And if they don't block, you deal double the damage. But if they block with a creature, the first strike hits them, and if it's equal, you kill the creature, and then the double strike goes through. Oh, so it is very, it's very good to have double strike. Yeah. Even if it's a one-one, minimum yeah. containment. There's the white dragon. Oh, full art white dragon. Look at that. It looks very pretty. Very, very pretty card. That is, yeah. And then purple worm, which oh, I was told okay. is very iconic. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like if you're in the underdark, if you're traveling underground. Beware the purple worm. That's <laughs> what everyone says. Oh, yeah. Then the blue dragon. Wow, wow. A couple full arts in this one. Yeah, the, the, we got a, quite a few in this pack. Nice. I do like it. And then Volo, guide, guide of Mo or guide to Monsters. Oh, fantastic. Good old Volo. Yeah, and it seems he's pretty good in this, too. I, yeah. I actually like him. He'll be a lot of fun for EDH, I think. Okay. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control... Or a creature card in that your or in your graveyard. Copy that spell. So that's kind of it. That could be kind of gross yeah. for EDH. You could you could do a lot of copying. It'd be great for tokens because it'll come out as a token. Yeah. And then copy tokens a whole bunch. There you go. Behold the fates reversal. Circle of the moon druid. Mimic. Oh my goodness! Look Where's at that? That I, I figure that iconic. I figure you like that artwork. <laughs> oh, I love it. Beautiful. It's such a weird. It's such a weird, like cool old school artwork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very old school. Another bag of holding. <laughs> Maybe we can break it a few times. Mind flare. We got another mind flare. Oh, that's our first one. Yeah, dominant monster. It's it's yeah, just you just steal yeah. you steal someone's creature. As long as he stays in play, you that's, steal their creature. Yeah, that is perfect for a mind player. Take right. Control. Brazen dwarf. Huh. Isn't that redundant? All dwarves. I, I feel like I feel like it's it, all dwarves and, and goblins are yeah. kind of brazen it <laughs> anyways. Feel like that's the case. So devoted paladin. You find the villain's lair. Check for traps. Oh, man, always. Power always. of persuasion. Oh, nice. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Choose your weapon. Two weapon fighting or archery. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, here we go. This So this is an interesting card here. This is essentially Gaius Cradle. Okay. Which, anyone who plays Magic Dragon, Gaius Cradle is a very, very expensive card. I mean, it does cost mana to do it, but you add... One green for each creature you control. Oh wow! And it'll, wow. I think it'll be a fetch for EDH players. I think a lot of because guys, cradle is a little bit out of ever, a lot of a lot of people's spectrums because it is you know could be up to a thousand dollars. So it's a very expensive card, but this will be a cool little option for everyone. Nice, nice. And for only a three cost, it's it's a good mana ramp. Very good mana ramp. Never winter dry at. I do like how they reference a lot of places too. Yeah. Neverwinter yeah, and Baldur's Gate. Gate. Yeah, yeah. Which is fun for anyone who played the old RPG games. Exactly. The old video games. Uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. Plus two mace again. Frost Shine, Grim Bounty. Just trying to see if there's anything we haven't come across. Yeah. So this card. There we go. Book of Exalted Deeds is awesome, but it's already banned. So. <laughs> It is it's still a very, very cool card, yeah. but in standard is already banned. Wow. So, which I understand why, but it is a very cool yeah. card. Yeah, yeah. Arcane Instigator. As much as I would love it, I think it would be a very, very expensive card if it wasn't banned. Oh, sure. It would be sure. instantly expensive. Just because everyone's gonna want to play a paper version of it and just break the game. Dueling rapiers. Full strength. Veteran Dungeoneer. Ha! Shortcut Seeker. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there some, we go. Every time you deal combat damage to a player, venture. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant School. And then Druid class, we came across one of those a little yeah, bit. Ago. Yeah, critical hit. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Grim Wander. I, I do love the Grim Wander. There's our rare one, Monk class. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Monk class is pretty cool. A lot you of, get to like stack up a bunch of hits. So you get to the second spell cost less for you on the first level. Okay. 
the second level, whenever it becomes level two, return one target non-land permanent to its owner's hands. Third level is at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile the top card of your library. For as long as it remains exiled, it has, you may cast this card from exile as long as you've cast another spell, which oh, is kind nice. of cool. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a little weird. It's a little different. It'll be a lot of bouncing rally maneuver. So we've got two more packs and we grabbed a couple collector boosters. So let's see what the collector's boosters have to offer. Figured why not? Let's end end a, a booster box on some collect, collector Absolutely. boosters. It's a bull strength. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, they're all of it's a lot of foils. You find the villain's <laughs> lair. Arborea Pegasus. Foils of the hunt. Cloister Gargoyle. Choose your weapon. Nice. Cool foil island. Yeah. There's, Ooh, there's there the Isle of Vecna. There's the eye. Yeah, enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose two life. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two. If you do, draw two card, lose two life. So it hurts you a lot. Indomitable Might, one of the rares from the commander set, because they put commander set stuff in here. Nice. Yeah, Flash. That's that's actually pretty cool. And then Xanathar. Oh, man. The Guild the Kingpin. Xanathar. Got very interesting artwork. Yeah, well, that's... And then he's got his goldfish. The, uh, yeah, that's straight from the... Xanathar's Guide to Everything. Yep. It's kind of cool. I, I do like the way they did that. Yeah. Celestial Unicorn, Baleful Beholder. There's Storm of the Hall. There's the st or Hall of the Storm Giant. Oh, That's man. the module version. Ah, Looks I so love cool. the module artworks. Oh, yeah. man. They did a great job. They, they made sure they did a good job. Varus, Silvery Moon Ranger. Which is cool to have it in this version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, nope, those were from earlier. And then a devil token. All right, one more pack. One more pack. Bro. One more. Let's do something, something ridiculous. Good. Get up like a bunch of TMS. Let's, let's get some TMS. You find a cursed isle, jaded cell sword. You see a guard approach. Delta guard ranger. Guild thief. Guild thief is kind of fun whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Uh, you put a plus one plus one counter on it. Oh, nice! And you can make it unblockable, so you just keep swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barman of Clan or Undor, Oil Mountain. We get it. We're, I keep getting Grazalax. There we go. <laughs> Whole bunch of them. That's that's actually a cool card, though. That is a really cool card. Dance Macabre. Oh, that's a fun spell too. Yeah, and that's that's from one of the commander sets. Oh, the full, yeah, they, it looks like they put one card from the commander set in every pack. Okay, very cool. Awesome. It is very cool for everybody who likes goblins that they added another goblin yeah, lord. Yeah. So in Magic, any of the, the, like, this is a Hobgoblin Bandit Lord, but they actually have a class of cards called Lord cards, and they pump up other, whatever their creature kind is. Creature so, type yeah, is, creature yeah. type is they pump them. Okay. And that's one. They haven't done one in a little while, so that's kind of cool that they haven't done That's them. awesome. Arborea, Pegasus, got a green dragon again. Oh, that's cool. Adult gold dragon. Oh, there we go. That one looks really that cool. Is wow. A great classic artwork. That is awesome. I like that. I haven't seen that before. Displacer Beast. Nice. And oh, well, there we go. Another circle of uh circle of dreams druid. Wow. The, wow. So we got in a foil one at that. Foil full or that, foil borderless. Oh wow, wow. That is that's pretty cool. That, that is actually that's, that's so those cool. are cool packs. I so I think we did good, guys. Yeah. I think we, we turned out good and it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun in this set. I think it's gonna be if if so you're looking to have a little bit more fun with the set, yeah. this is definitely gonna be one of those sets. I think so. And I and I love you know, and somebody who doesn't play magic, but who is head over heels about D and D. How much I just got to relive <laughs> all those old adventures, all those memories coming back. Like even just opening the packs, it's it's just so nostalgic. Yeah, it's it's. I would say it's so much fun to just see. I, I get that I liked hearing you going. Oh, I remember. I, yeah. I, I, remember, I think we're going to see a lot of that with a lot of different definitely, players. Definitely. So I appreciate everyone. You know, taking the time to watch this. If you made it all the way through the end yeah, of this one. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more openings or maybe small openings here and there. Absolutely. And um, 
we hope to see you guys down here at the shop. Yeah, uh, like I said, it's an awesome CCG in Londonderry, New Hampshire, and you too can relive your uh, <laughs> childhood and youth. <laughs> well, I hope so. We're, yeah, we will be uh, for any Magic players. We're gonna try to do at least a draft or a sealed every Friday, and then we're gonna we will shortly have a day for sta uh, paper standard as well. Yep. So once we get everything, we'll we'll be keeping everyone updated. And uh, feel free to give us a call, ask us some questions, and we'll be glad yeah. to uh, answer. And be sure to check us out on Facebook as well. We got all our events posted there. We like to keep things updated there as well, so it's going to be a good way to kind of stay on top of it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So have a wonderful rest of the day, Thanks. and hope to hear from you soon. Definitely. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.